Welcome. I'm going to show you how to edit the card envelope mock-up in Photoshop. We're going to be using this handy layers panel right here. So if you don't see the layers panel, go to window and then click on layers to bring it up. There's a lot of things you can do with this mock-up. You can quickly add your design to the card. You can also change the color of the card and the color of the envelope and you can add a design to the envelope. You could click on the uh, box next to the craft envelope layer and turn on the craft envelope if that's what you're selling. And depending on which mock-up you purchased, you can have different backgrounds. You can click the box next to the backgrounds layer to turn that on and then click the eye icons next to the different layers to toggle them on and off. You could also add your own background by copying and pasting it into Photoshop. So you could do a ton of different mock-ups from this one versatile mock-up and save yourself a ton of money in uh, printing costs and time and having to photograph everything. So I'm going to show you how to add your design to the card first. You just want to click the arrow next to the card layer and that'll expand the layer group and then click the arrow next to the second card layer to expand the layer group with the mask and then it's just as easy as double clicking the thumbnail icon in the design dash card layer and that's going to open up a smart object where you can just copy and paste your design to do that go to file open and then find your design And then next just go to select all, then edit, copy, and click back on the smart object tab, and then go to edit, paste. And it may not be the size you want right away, so it's pretty easy to resize it. I'll just press control minus to zoom out. It would be command minus on a Mac. And then just go to edit, free transform. You just want to click and drag any of the four corners to size the design. On older versions of Photoshop, you used to have to hold down the shift key to keep the design proportional. So if you see it getting distorted, just go to edit, undo, and then do the opposite of whatever you're doing, whether that's holding down the shift key or not holding it down. And once it's resized, you can just go to file, save to save the smart object and then click the X to close the smart object and close the original graphics. And you'll see it added your design to the envelope just like that. You could also change the color of the card simply by double clicking the thumbnail icon in the color dash card layer. And that'll open up a color picker. You can just click anywhere in the rainbow slider to pick a color and then click in the gradient box to change the lightness and darkness of that color. You can adjust the shading underneath on the card simply by clicking the box next to the more shading card layer. And that'll make it a little more contrasty. And then with the uh, layer more shading card clicked on, you can click the down arrow next to opacity and drag the slider to the right to make it more contrasty or the left to make it more subtle. You can also adjust the shadows underneath the card by clicking the arrow next to the card shadows layer and then clicking on either of the layers and then clicking the down arrow next to opacity and dragging the slider to the right to make the shadows darker or the left to make them more subtle. And the envelope works very similarly. We'll just click the arrow next to the envelope. And if you want to change the color of the envelope, it's basically the same process as the card. You just double click the thumbnail icon in the color dish envelope layer. And then choose a color by clicking anywhere in the rainbow slider. And then clicking in the gradiated box. And if you have color values, you can enter them here. And the envelope shadows are adjustable in the same way that the card shadows are. 
and that's all there is to adding your design to the card and envelope mock-up in Photoshop. If you're going to use this as a thumbnail online on a site like Etsy, you'll want to save a version as a JPEG. So to do that, just go to File, Save a Copy, and then change Save as Type from Photoshop to JPEG. and click Save. And if you wanted to save a layered PSD with your design, you could just come back here a second time and go to File, Save As. And this time with Photoshop selected, just change the name. And that's all there is to editing the card and envelope mock-up in Photoshop. Please message me at melissabmockups.com if you have any questions. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you get updates to future videos. And as always, this mock-up and other mock-ups are available at melissabmockups.com. Thank you.